Mellow Mechanic here, and what we have on our workbench today is we got ourselves a little project. We need to design and build something to bend this trim. And what this trim is, this is a piece off a RV motorhome, and uh, it, go it goes along the outside edge. So you have your siding comes in this way, siding comes in this way, and this covers covers the joint. The problem is it comes in really straight long pieces and RVs have curves at either end. And so we need to make something that we could get those curves so when uh, we're making patch panels or fixing the trim we can match it to the uh, to the curves of the RV. What I have is a piece of an aluminum it's 3 eighths inches thick. It's 4 inches by 4 inches by 12 inches. I have two stainless carriage bolts. These are 3 and a half inches long. How long are these? Yeah, 3 and a half inches long. I have two of those. Got a box of butterfly nuts to go in there, stainless. And two 4 inch by 2 inch. Delrin rounds and what we're going to do I don't have any plans. We're just going to kind of build this Here's what I'm thinking I got this angle because we can use this side as the work surface and put this side in a vise So we can clamp it that way Then I'm going to mount one of the rounds here Then I'm going to mount one of the rounds here And this will go through it like that. And then you bend it, bend it like that. So what we need to do first is let's trim these edges. Let's get the paint off both sides, square them up. Then let's clean these surfaces here. Let's get them nice, let's get them nice and clean. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, first step is done. A little bit of blue there. Clean up these edges. I'm getting my sander here with uh, what is this 80 grit sandpaper. This should take the paint and make everything smooth. There we have it. So now we need to start laying this thing up. I need, so we need to come in the center. Tell you what, we could probably just do this on the mill. We'll come in two inches and two inches from a side. We'll come out over here come out four inches, and then we'll machine a, a slot right here that's probably an inch long, and that should give me enough travel to move that. Let's do that. All right, I got my chuck in there. I'm using a, get it on camera here. This is a center drill. What's nice about this, it's got this really short stubby tip on it. It's got a relatively big body compared to that tip. And this is for locating holes. And this is a pilot for your drill bit. So I'll just use a standard drill bit. It would walk on me. It'd get in there and walk. And I don't want that because I want to be as accurate as I can be. So I'm going to put a marker there. Come over four inches. And let's put a marker there. lined up six inches two inches out six inches in i'm gonna put a one inch slot right there all right there we got our piece out of the mill 
And I had a shop teacher back in college, first year of college, that told me never turn anything in with a burr. In his class or in your professional life, always make it clean. Always deburr it. You want to be professional. And the tool I'm using here is again one of my favorite tools. It's got a little hook on it, it's got a little blade, and it pivots. So you just walk around this edge, and it just takes the burr off. All right, that feels good. So come in here, we have plenty of travel for that to go. That sticks up there. But what we need to do We need to cut a little square. Cut a little square on the back side of here. So the square on this bolt will have somewhere to go. Either that or I could make just a bigger hole. The square would be nice because then it won't turn. Let's do that. All right, I got my piece back in my mill. This time it's flipped upside down so we can get to this bottom piece. When I was checking this up, I was thinking about it. What I'm going to do instead of making a square is I'm just going to make a, a channel, like a slot like that, but not all the way through. Um, we know how wide it needs to be. It needs to be 10 over. And then it also needs to be, let's measure this. How deep should I go? Where are we at here? Oh, quarter inch. Beautiful. Got a slot, but it doesn't go all the way through. That should capture the flats. All right, just like all the other holes we did, let's get in there and deburr it. captured. We'll put one on there, one on there, and there we go. So that's actually really in there. Now we need to focus on these. I need to drill in the center a half inch hole so these can go in. Probably should also face, face these, make them smooth. We'll do that. We'll go to the lathe. All right, I got my piece of Delrin chucked up in my lathe. I actually had to turn the jaws around. Uh, I got my tool in there. Let's go ahead and we'll face this. We'll flip it over and face the other side. I love Del Ren. It machines so nice. There we go. All right. So I need to cut a relief for my trim, and it's going to sit in here, and this bottom edge will go underneath. 
this piece right here. So it needs to be, make it 70 thousandths deep and make it 800 800 in. All right, I don't know if you can see it here. Right there. Got it set at zero, so we're gonna go 70 thousandths in and 800 thousandths that way. Beautiful. Now I gotta drill a hole through it. All right, I have my chuck mounted in my tailstock here. I'm going to use again a center drill on this. Make it nice, and accurate. Put my uh, half inch drill in and we'll drill the hole. And this part should be done. Okay. There we have it. We have the edge around there. We have the hole through it. We've cleared off this side, cleared off this side. Let's do the other one. All right, doing the second piece. This one should be a little bit easier. All I gotta do is face it on both sides and drill the hole. See if it works. Okay, so that should go through there. That should go like that. Tighten that guy up. Ooh, that's a good snug fit. I like it. That should rest against there. Whoops. There we go. I guess you'd use it like this and pull it, pull it towards yourself. Well, there it is. It's all built. Now let's see if it works. All right, I have it chucked up in my vise. I have my piece, sample piece that I want to bend. This just slides in there. I have it adjusted right. If I pull, oh yeah. piece I'm using is relatively short. Let 
There it is. Looks pretty good. Let's see if we can get a little bit more on her. There we go. It is bent. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.